Hello my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moon lights. Welcome back and today what we are doing is what do you need to know about your person that you are asking about. So I've got two decks for you to pick from. I'm sure by now you know that I am on maternity leave um, but those of you that don't I am on maternity leave if you want to have the updates of when I'm doing private readings because I, I get to work occasional days you can find them on my Instagram mystic love tarot. Day number one, deck number two, the Lion Strider Tarot and the Earth Child Tarot, both very beautiful, calming, calming decks, okay. So, deck number one, I will show you that again, I'm just double checking the title of the reading, <laughs> what you need to know about them, number one, number two. Felt like right using higher vibration decks today for this one. And let's go, okay, number one. So, if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, hi, or oh, welcome. Um, work some of the collective energy between you all, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, um, and don't accept the small stuff. So, what do you need to know about the person you are asking about? Let's go into that energy. Four of Wands, oh good. I forgot how cute this deck is. Right, you know what, right, at the moment I'm still pregnant because I've pre-recorded these and you're watching it in advance, so you're watching it further down the line. I've probably given birth and all as well, but when the cars drop on the floor at the moment, it's like doing a bloody <laughs> military operation trying to pick them up, massive bump in the way. What do you need to know about them? So you've got the Four of Wands, the Hierophant, the Nine of Cups, I'm just going to have one more. Let's do three of pentacles because it was looking at me in the face. Okay. What you need to know about them. Hierophant, three of pentacles. Let's start off with these two. This is a spiritual connection. Okay. Hierophant coming in with a very, very spiritual message for you about them. Okay. You are divinely linked. You are the helix. You are the paths crossing, the ins, the outs, the divine, the twin flames, the soulmates, higher vibrational energies, potentially with a little bit of a slice of karma coming in. So you probably have past lives of them, past lives, past lives of them before. And if you want to have a look at past life readings, just give me a shout and we can do that for you. Um, but it is very much about the journey when it comes to spiritual connections, okay? So not the destination, it is about the journey. And this is where the Hierophant's messages really come into your reading. So he's coming into your reading to say, today to tell you about them and say, you know what, this is a spiritual connection. No matter where it leads you, there are lessons that are going to be learned here. Okay, so enjoy the ride, enjoy where you end up. He often comes in in readings where you know the other two cards you've got at the top, the four of cups, ones, and nine of cups, both very, very positive cards. So the hierophant comes into the middle to just kind of throw you a little bit of a loop and say, Well, you know what? I'm just going to pop into your reading and say, This is a spiritual connection, and you are gaining spiritual truth and perspective from it. Three of Pentacles coming in next to it, okay, next to him, should I say is saying that you know all this hard work that you've been putting through the third party of this connection it is spirit oh you like that you like that so one side of it is you one side of it is them and then spirit are in the top they are leading the way you're being divinely guided with this and that divine guidance and that divine intuition is leading to these beautiful new beginnings over here so we have a celebration with the four of wands and we have wishes coming true with the Nine of Cups. Spirit have heard you whinging and moaning, <laughs> irritated and fed up. And your guides want you to know that they have heard your pleas and they are here to help fix the situation in the best way possible. So you are having a divine intervention on this connection and you will start to get messages. You will see car registration plates. You will see messages when you're walking out. You'll be hearing messages from spirit, most likely through your thought process they're saying to me. You'll be hearing songs. You'll be hearing lyrics that are related specifically to this. Now, when we're looking at the future of you, the celebration is coming up over here, okay? So this is talking about the two of you linking together. It's talking about weddings. It's talking about engagements. It's talking about white picket fences. Everything that you want from this person, you can get. And the nine of cups over here, the cat with the, <laughs> the little birdie in his mouth that he's just eaten, he's like, yeah, you know what? I got what I wanted. I'm quite happy. You might have felt that this relationship was caged, but I've released the cage, spirit, released the cage, 
setting you both free, you can make this work if you want it to. And that's what you need to know, okay? So even though things might be a bit shitty at this moment in time, you are being guided. We've got the cross keys coming up on the Hierophant. The keys will kind of, for me, always symbolise Hecate, um, the goddess of the crossroads. She always comes with keys, and in fact, they have an iron key over here, big iron key. This is an old jail key, don't ask me. The stuff that I end up with. Um, the iron keys over here, iron is such a protective energy, okay? Whenever we do magic, if you need protection, we will put iron under people, like especially babies, I always put iron under my baby's cribs. Um, or other people, I'll give them gifts of iron. <laughs> like, wait, protection um, is your protective energy, okay? But it's also your crossroads energy. So they have got the keys to things moving forward. You just really need to go with the flow, they being spirit. You really need to go with the flow of the situation, go with the flow of the energy and see where you guys end up. Um, we've got bears on here again, very symbolising of protection. They can also be to do with money and prosperity too, okay? We've got the crows, the messengers between the other realms, again, very strong dimensional being, very strong dimensional connection, but everything's working out exactly as it needs to. So let spirit lead the way, they will guide you and you will end up where you need to end up with this. And it's looking very, very positive for your future. That's deck number one. So I'm just going to scoot over now to deck number two. And we're going to do what do you need to know about your person that you are asking about this ring? My fingers are, because I'm still pregnant. By the time I'm recording this, I'm still pregnant. And my fingers have got dead fat. And I can't get any ring on without it irritating me. <laughs> I also think it's quite a cute little ring. It's a rough, it's a rough ruby. It's like a, a real ruby. Um made of and then recycled um material from one of the um junkyards <laughs> don't ask me oh, i end up with all sorts of gifts from spirit um what do you want to know about them what do they need to know about deck number two okay three of swords so i'm getting this song i think it was by donny hart and heartbreak nothing but a heartbreak it's a heartbreak. So we've got a sense of loss and grief going on at the moment. You guys are probably feeling very sad over the relationship. You might have been having breakups, heart-wrenching times, things just not gone to plan and it's all gone to shit and you are here mourning and grieving, okay? Tough times, tough times. It has been a very difficult situation, but I want you to know that your person is also experiencing this. So if you think it is just you that is going through this heartbreak, you are mistaken they are experiencing it as well you have got this mirroring energy happening between the two of you so even though you're feeling like that they're feeling like it as well and what's happening through this heartbreak as we go from the suit three of swords to the four of swords is we have this healing energy so you're both on this path of growth together okay um so both feeling sad both healing from the situation now what's really interesting is once the energy is healed and once your person's like had a little bit of a breather, this is when they're going to message you, reach out to you and communicate with you. So it's short lived Um, doesn't stop the pain, doesn't stop the heartbreak. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But if you are wondering if you're ever going to speak to them again or if they're just going to be a stubborn mule and carry on where they left off, there will be messages that come back towards you. So they will reach out to you and you will speak again in the future. But for now, it very much is about this healing energy. Feel like your person is keeping their cards close to their chest and they haven't been communicating how they have been feeling over it all. Perhaps they've been feeling a little bit overwhelmed is what Spirit is saying to me. This sense of loss, this sense of grief, um, but this slow movement back towards you, okay? So even though this heartbreak is going on with you guys, there's still movement that heads back towards you. Now the Emperor is coming here as well to say, well, I'm not going to quite change my standpoint on everything that I have said because I am stubborn and I am difficult. Um, I'll message you, but I might still be a little bit awkward at the time that the messages come through. It needs, this, this relationship needs healing, it needs time and it needs space, okay? And again, this is your collective reading. So everyone could be individually. Um, and if you need that, you can message me on Instagram, but your collective energy is saying this relationship needs time and space to heal. And with the right time and space, your person will reach back out to you and communicate with you. The messages that they are going to communicate across to you are going to be much more based on stability than they have been before. But I do feel that they, like I said, there's still 
going to be quite stubborn with the emperor in their thoughts over it all. However, they will tell you that they love you. They will tell you that they love you. And remember that when there is love, there is always a way. Um, your hands will reach out to one another and they can meet. They can meet. They can grasp. You can reconnect with each other. And then you can decide what it is that you want. But when we're looking at the energy of what you need to know about them, they are feeling this heartbreak too. And they are feeling this loss as well. And they will connect with you, reconnect back up with you. Because there is a very strong love there. Um, so healing from the situation at this point in time is really important um heavy energy heartbreak is never ever ever easy and those people that say oh yeah you know i got over it really fast probably don't have the same kind of heartbreak that you guys are dealing with at the moment it's real you know it's a real feeling it's a real emotion so don't be afraid of it don't be afraid of the shadows when it comes up and it and you know you feel that grief in your heart allow allow it um when we're looking at heart energy an emotional energy it can be counteracted by fire magic so it might be where if you know obviously in a safe environment lighting some candles around your home um you know some people like fire walking i'm not entirely sure i suggest you do something like that but you know it, open fires if it was summer i'd say have barbecues all of that energy can just help shift these emotional side of things it can counteract it with fire um, so also embodying yourself in like red colours and yellow colours will help you too to just kind of step out of the emotional side of things and focus more on the healing and through that healing is when these messages will reconnect back up with you and you can decide what it is that you want from the connection where you want it to go and that's step number two so again if you need me I will be working occasional days you can find me on Mr Love Tarot on Instagram little blue tick I love you all lots and I will speak to you soon many many blessings ciao